Do you know how to identify a tessellation? Let's take a look at one of the most common tessellations that you'll ever see. A checkerboard is a common tessellation. It is a tessellation made up of squares. Notice that the squares can repeat in a pattern and there aren't any gaps left. When a shape does this, when a shape can be put together in a pattern with no gaps or spaces in between the repeating shapes, you can say that that shape will tessellate. And when it tessellates, it creates a tessellation. Let's look at another one. Here's a tessellation of hexagons. You'll see that even though the hexagons have been divided up into different colors, that it is one shape that repeats. It repeats in a pattern with no gaps left in between. This is a tessellation of hexagons. Look at this tessellation. This is a tessellation of ducks. Look at how the duck heads are shaped and notice that when the duck heads go together that they form a tessellation. There are no gaps. Here is the base shape right here and you can see that this shape is used over and over again. It is colored to look like a duck but the outline in green is the basic shape that is being used in the tessellation. Let's look at another one and see if you can identify the base shape. Here's another one. Take a look at this shape. Here it is here and it goes up and we can fill that piece in there. But this is the base shape and notice that when the base shape is put together that it tessellates. It forms a pattern with no empty gaps. Sometimes a shape will tessellate, but you have to turn it. So take a look at this one. You'll see that the bird in the middle has been colored, but the shape is the same for each one of these here. However, the shape has been turned to show that it will tessellate when it is turned and when the pieces fit together like a puzzle. What about tessellations that are created of more than one shape? Well, let's take a look at a tessellation of two shapes. Here's a tessellation of cubes and triangles. And these shapes are being used together to form a pattern and to form a tessellation. Will a kite shape tessellate? Let's take a look and see if it will tessellate. Before I show you the pattern, think about it in your own mind, whether or not the shape of a kite would tessellate. Here is a tessellation made of kite shapes. Now notice that the kites have been turned right side up and upside down, but they still form a tessellation. And you can see here in these places where other kites could be put to continue the tessellation. Let's look at one more. Will a star tessellate? Take a look at this pattern. Here's a pattern of stars that tessellate. So as you see, when shapes are regular, or when they have been made in a pattern to fit with each other, the shape will tessellate. You can create your own tessellations too. Just remember when you create your own tessellation, that the pieces always must fit together without any gaps.